I never understood ramen noodles that much. And I didn't love ramen noodles. I still don't love ramen noodles. Oh, the soup's really good, but why are the noodles so average? They lack the impact of the other things in the bowl. The soup was so delicious and rich and aromatic, incredible piece of pork on top, and yet the noodles were too eggy or too soft and mushy. It's a noodle shop. The noodles should be the star, really. Ramen's not really an artisanal thing. It's something that's slapped together or somebody else makes it, and they buy the components and put it together. But in my world, you make it. When I thought about why ramen noodles didn't always taste good to me, it's because ramen noodles use one kind of flour, and it's usually cheap flour. I generally blend cake flour, bread flour, rye flour that I toast. Then we have a little salt, baking soda. And now we're gonna turn this on low, and all right, we're just gonna add a little water into this guy. I sort of started calling myself the Apple computer of ramen shops. You know, it's kind of got geeky and fun. In ramen noodle making, rather than in bread making where you're kneading it, you sort of knead it by folding the sheets together and then pressing them through rollers. You keep rolling them on top of each other and build a strong noodle. It's always sort of awkward, you know, trying to roll and then trying to catch. One more time onto the thinnest one. I bought this in Little Italy in 1991 or something. I think it was $12. It's not the best thing in the world, but in a pinch, if you want to make fresh pasta, this is just fine. Being a noodle maker is more than just being a guy who makes ramen. It takes a certain amount of skill to work with dough, flour, and water. It's something that takes time and care. I am a noodle maker.